beginning over here. There's two more here. Our work kind of goes at a snail's pace. They had just recently become a problem. Everyone was kind of in a panic. They didn't really know what to do with them or what they were. Is that eight? While a student at Southwestern University, Rebecca Marfort became curious about an exotic snail being seen in the bayous of suburban Houston. What? A tie? These snails are exotic, invasive species, meaning that they don't belong here and they spread, which is sort of a double whammy. It's not a, not a good thing for the environment. Let's see what we can find. Let's go left. One student's curiosity has led to years of research projects for Professor Rami Burks's biology classes. Whoa, 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 whoa. snail. Got one. Oh, got a big one. So we'll take this one back to the lab. They're called apple snails because they're about the size of an apple. Ooh, nice one. There's very little information in the scientific literature about this species. And so the class is collecting adult apple snails. Another one. And their large pink egg clusters to learn more about these creatures and the threats they may pose. We've seen egg clutches, as many as four or 5,000 eggs almost. That's a lot of snails from just one. Good catch, Becca. The big egg clutch. Make an omelet, <laughs> hot pink omelet. The ones that we're studying in Solarum actually eat plants. They're gaining attention as a possible threat to Texas wild rice as well as agricultural rice. It's 39.30. We're gonna do some experiments where we look at whether adult snails, fish, or crayfish would eat the eggs. It's very important to understand how many of those eggs actually end up as snails later on. Ultimately, research done by these students may be the key to keeping these invasive snails from being a major threat, economically or ecologically. We know a lot more now than we just did six months ago. I still remain worried. They're not going to go away. There's a limited questions from a research and even teaching standpoint with students that I don't think I'll ever be bored. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.